How does an ice cream with chocolate syrup sound? Good, no thanks. I don't eat sweet things except uh, for fruit. You shouldn't know either. Well, then we can have some fruit. Very good, very good. Oh, I'll get it, I'll get it. Sam? Hi, Catherine. Uh, Robert isn't here right now. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. He sent me over here. Oh, whoa. Oh. Mm. Can I, uh, sure. come in? Okay. Victor Jerome escaped from prison tonight, and Robert sent me over here to keep an eye on Robin and you. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, he wanted to be safe rather than sorry. Hi, Sam. Looking for my dad? No, I just came over here to visit. Hi, Tanganeva. Would you like some fruit? It's good and healthy. <laughs> no, but thanks for the offer. I'm just going to talk to Catherine for a few minutes. Tanganeva, hmm. something's up. How do you know? My instincts. I can feel it. Tell me what you know and what you mean. Well, first of all, my dad rushes out. He does that a lot. But then my mom rushes out. And then Sam shows up in uniform to talk to Catherine. It doesn't add up. So something's going on, all right. And from the looks of it, something really big. You watch too much television. Does all of this concern you? Sure it does. Well, my instincts tell me everything's well. That's good. But I still want to find out. How are you doing? How's school? Uh, something's going on, isn't it? No, don't be silly. Sam, did something happen to my parents? No. No. Your parents are fine. Oh. Nothing happened. Well, then why won't you tell me what's happened? Because your dad wants to tell you just as soon as he gets home, and that's why he made me promise not to tell you. Something's wrong, I no, know. No, it, it isn't. Everything's fine. Robin, I, I didn't mean to give you that impression. Um, who are you calling? Calling my father. Robin, why don't you hang up the phone? And listen to this old man. Now, oh, your father and your mother, they have work they must be about. This is difficult for you, and I understand. But many things in life are difficult. Of these, uh, the waiting, the uncertainty. Do you understand? Yeah, but I don't like it. Yeah, well, you're not expected to, but your patience will be rewarded. Even though... Even though we don't know how the ending will turn out, I promise you, it'll be a happy one. You promise? I promise. I feel it. Is that good enough? Yeah. As soon as you get safe, we want you to meet a normal life when all bloody Jerome's breaks out, and then what? And when we find him, we should shoot him. I didn't hear that. I mean it. Nobody ever does anything, you know. Am I the only one that does anything it's around here? I just want to be protected, Robert. It's going to be a full investigation. It's the best I can do. Yeah, right. Don't keep back a child. I'm sorry, all right? Everyone's a little tense at the moment. We'll find out who's behind this breakout. I don't care who's behind it. I just want that man put in prison. We'll get him, all right? We'll get him. You died to get him put away. Yeah, I'm aware of that. You're a little overruled right now. Don't you think I have a right to be? Don't you think I have a right? You're being quiet over there. Just taking it all in. Sounds to me like this Victor Jerome is your domino. Yeah. We'll get him. I want to apologize for the disruption, Lila. Oh, that's perfectly all right, Robert. I only wish that you'd drop by socially sometime instead of always being here for business. Mm. Wonderful idea, Mother. Then he can disrupt our lives at will with no reason. Ignore, Robert. We all do. But why are you here? 
There's been an escape from the federal prison, and we think that the man might be on your property. Oh, why didn't you say you were looking for Alan? Victor Jerome escaped from prison last night. Oh, my goodness. Isn't he that dreadful man who... Lila, I'm sure it's all right. There's no immediate danger to our family. No, not as long as you stay inside. He used the General Hospital helicopter. Not any of you hear or see anything tonight? Well, yes, come to think of it, we, we did hear a helicopter a little earlier, didn't we? Yeah, we yeah. thought it was a neighbor's. Well, my men are checking the uh, neighborhood area. Lila, I'd like permission to uh, go over your estate. Oh, of course, Robert, of course. Do, do whatever you have to to catch that terrible man. Thank you. <clears throat> well, this can't be easy for you, considering what he did to Duke. No, it isn't. David, I'm, I'm sorry about all of this. Why don't we get out of here and go someplace where we can be alone together? Well, actually, I would like to stay. I find uh, Commissioner Scorpio rather interesting. Well, whatever turns you on. Tracy, who is that woman over there? Oh, that's Anna Lavery. She's a private investigator. She used to be a government agent with the WSB with Scorpio, and then she was the police chief of Fort Charles. Oh, my goodness, that's what Monica meant. She used to be married to Duke Lavery. And Duke Lavery testified against Victor Jerome, and as soon as he got off the stand, killed. <laughs>